this is palm naturals welcome back to this channel this channel is uh, intended to help you have a smooth hair journey i mean initially i never wanted to do any heat because at i tried blow drying in a salon and the experience was a nice my scalp all good i don't know it was as if it was on fire it was so painful i decided that's when i actually decided to do straight because i felt i wouldn't manage my natural hair however these past years i've not been doing any heat but i encountered some problem uh, where the hair would twist around the hair strands would twist with each other and uh, luckily enough recently actually in less than two months i landed on a video by green beauty green beauty big up to you you've really helped me in this journey so after landing on that video she showed how i could use heat safely on my hair without damaging it and getting the best result possible so today that's what i'm going to share with you guys i want to introduce to you this the hair dryer that i'm using this is the box it's the Fakang professional hair dryer and inside the box it is the hand dryer actually it has really helped me a lot i no longer get that uh, hair twisting so there is this this is a comb and i'm going to show you how to safely use it i will also show you how people make mistake it and how people make mistakes using this comb it is abused a lot and if you misuse it you're going to lose your hair and you're going to feel pain i don't know about you but my scalp is extremely tender it feels pain so fast and i really can't stand that i want beautiful hair but still i don't want to feel pain if you're with me in this then let's look at this video so this is the comb it has the dryer itself it has the dryer bits now this is the dryer now it has two controls it's got the red one the red button and the black button the red button is one which is responsible for the temperature the heat so you moderate it from here when it's lying down flat like evenly then it is on medium if you push it down like this then it means it's on high high temperature so with my hair i don't use the high i only use the moderate one but if it's this side then this is there is no heat at all then this is done for for the wind the air the black one so i usually use the maximum air and that is what the green beauty channel recommended and i really like it my hair is not damaged and i'm really finding a very smooth journey so far so this is the dryer sorry now uh two other things in this box we have these two so these are the ones which more like concentrate the heat and the wind as you can see there is this round bigger side it is done you attach to this end like this and then you can concentrate the air here that warm air that you're going to use then this other one it's a smaller one i usually use any of them i don't usually mind the size so but i think a larger one is better when you're dealing with more hair i think it makes sense so this is what we have this is the dryer so i've just washed my hair it's actually dripping and as many of you know those who have natural hair it dries really quickly so you may not even see the water but it's i've just washed it right now so this is the the hair that i want to make sure that i i dry safely without damaging it i don't want it to lose its texture but still i want something which really which is uh which is smooth so this is the hair if it's i don't know if it's clear enough yeah my hair has actually grown i'm loving it though i really lost a lot of hair by the way recent because of that problem i told you the hair just made big knots with each other the hair strands were just knotted it's as if someone went in and plated them and it was so stressful so painful to remove and i lost most of it it was just breaking so but i'm glad i have it's a, it's a bit a lot so you can't really tell that i've lost hair 
So this is the hair that we are going to dry safely. So if you really can't do this on your own, please when you go to the salon, be strict and tell the salon lady or the gentleman what you want to be done with your hair because it's your hair and it's your money. Okay. So we have this. First of all, I'm going to be using this oil. It's going to protect my hair from the heat a little bit because if it shouldn't be really so in, in, in contact with your hair. Like I said, I really love my natural hair the way it is. So I don't want any interference with this. I, I just want to have a smoother, smoother hair journey. So as you can see, it is really coarse. I know most of you out there think your hair is so hard like steel wire. Actually, I used to say my hair is hard like steel wire. But uh, I really don't think it is, it is a problem. Actually, I think actually the harder it is, the stronger it is. However, if you don't handle it well, it breaks easily too. So this is the hair we are going to look at today. Let me connect it in the electricity and then uh, we start, we start the process. Okay, so it's a bit noisy, like it's just like other dryers, it's not so unique. Only that it's, I find it really easy to use. So I'm going to make sure, I'm going to mute the sound when I start doing this. And I want you to note that So I'm going, to, I'm going to hold it like this. Now, there is a mistake that very many of, of the people in the salons do. And like I've said, if you know what you want to be done with your hair, please request for that. Don't keep quiet because you have a right to choose what you want with your money. It's you paying the money. So what most people do, the mistake they do is this. They connect the comb and then they start doing this. As they start working on it, they force they force the comb to go through as the, as they are drying like after switching it on they start eh? so it dries at it as it straightens out however that is one of the dangerous ways to do i know most hair has knots and i won't show you how i remove mine i first do the drying without the comb and then i'll use the comb later so let me connect it and then we start i'll first put in a little bit of oil and this oil is really good for your hair it can help it grow. Uh, make sure even your scalp gets enough. So I want to make sure even the, the hair roots get enough oil. After doing this now as you can see it's dry and it's a bit uh, straight pulled out as you can see it's now different from the rest of the hair now if it has any knots in it anything you want to remove this is the right time first use your hands first use your hands finger detangling is key with natural hair if and I know this takes time but if it's your money please don't allow anyone to just do things because they want to finish and go to a second customer. Because the harsher you, you are with it, the less the chances that it's even going to grow to any length. Because the strands which come out, which grow, are going to be broken due to the harsh treatment. So I'm, going to go, I'm using my hands to remove most of those knots. 
and this is one of the key areas so as you can see it's a bit smooth I hope it's clear so ah look at this it's so cute okay so now the next thing is to go in with our comb like i said this comb is very important but if you misuse it it can cause a lot of problems for your hair so get in with a comb and then start combing start from the roots because then the more you start from this side it's the more that your hair is going to, to break so you want to make sure that you start from the roots as you're removing the knots which are down you keep going up so i think you see the movement you barely feel any pain and the, I, I, I hope you're seeing the way my hands are moving. When I'm going to pull, I make sure I hold the hair. Another key thing you have to notice, when you have this kind of hair, that, like the one I have, it's really coiled, it's fussy hair. Look at that hair, isn't it so cute? <laughs> yeah. This is why I love natural hair. It's the most beautiful hair that you can ever get. It's the most beautiful hair. You simply need to know how to work with it. There is one thing I always, that there is one thing I believe in and it's that when you try to work against nature, you're going to spend a lot of energy and you're going to get into accidents that you don't really want. I've seen a few friends of mine who have used chemicals on their hair and they have lost all the hair. So those are the accidents I'm talking about. So if you know, if you really just learn how to work with what God gave you, trust me my... So I really try to remove all these knots, anything which is entangled, it's more like distangling the hair. So after that I'm just going to, to just uh, do this, look at this, then this is super cute. Isn't this the most beautiful hair in the whole home? One of the key things that you have to notice, this is best for long hair. If you have medium to short, you don't need to even put heat in the hair. But it also depends on your curl pattern. Some people have really tight curls like mine. So if it gets to medium size, that's when... My this is our natural hair, our fussy hair. I know Sometimes you admire the straight hair that some of our, our colleagues have, some of our friends, the, the whites and everyone, but there's something God gave us and it's extremely beautiful. You simply know how to, we just need to know how to take care of it and everything will be fine. 